what is going on YouTube so in today's video what I want to try to get done is get this exhaust hung under this car pause and um, I'm gonna see if we can also get it welded up in the same video I think that'd be pretty sick I just got to see um, what afternoon that uh, done is available to to knock it out for me but before I go bothering him I'm gonna get this entire back half of the exhaust mounted so I can uh, measure and let him know how much two and a half we're gonna need extra to fit it to the header because there's gonna be a gap because as you guys know I never run cats so without the cat converter it uh leaves a big gap sometimes it can be like two feet and then this this header that I bought used it was cut so it doesn't have the original flange so another thing we're gonna try to do is we're gonna cut off three bolt we're gonna cut this three bolt flange off we did the same thing on uh, DJ's junkyard car that we uh, did but it, when you buy the cat bags they be coming with like this little extension piece pause and what I'm gonna do is use these two flanges to make it where I can bolt that up to the header. So we'll whack that one off, pause, and then we'll add this, one of these two bolts on on this end, and then probably the piece that we extend from the header back to that location, we'll add the other piece, and that way I can unbolt it. And I don't know why they always do the three bolt near the header. Maybe it's, it should be three bolts, but we didn't have any issue running the two bolt flange on it. And I also have it set up the exact same way on my H to B with just the two bolt flange. So we should be fine, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna go ahead, try to get this car as far up in the air as I can. And then uh, we'll start trying to assemble this. I know I'm gonna regret not driving this thing because it's been sitting for about two weeks in the same spot. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be spiders on it, but it is what it is, guys. We gotta get this stuff knocked out because we get, get the exhaust done and then uh, we drop the coilovers on it and we'll be in a home stretch. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to paint it. The kits are like, for a base coat clear on eBay are like 350. So, um, not sure when we're gonna get to paint it, but uh, I may look into like uh, Napa and see because on eBay they're selling it by the gallon and two quarts should definitely be enough to do this car so I may just see if uh, Napa or somebody can mix me up some paint and we'll uh, try to get this thing painted as well but we do got a slight surprise in store not going to talk about it right now but um, we will be having a special guest in a little bit and we're going to be doing some pretty cool things with this car as well as a, another secret car again I can't say anything about it right now just know guys we got something pretty damn pretty amazing coming man something I've never done and something I've always wanted to do huge shout out to uh, uh, gears and gasoline for, for that idea but yeah that's all I'm gonna say guys I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing lifted up
All right, guys, so this is pretty much where we are on the car. Um, what I did was I put the whole mid pipe or whatever you call it, the piece that goes from the um, header all the way to the back. I put that on to measure my gap between where the cat would bolt up and the um, piece of header that's cut. And I'm gonna need about two feet of two and a half. So uh, once I measure that out to, to complete it, this is gonna be more than enough. This is like three inches right here. So this and um, two more foot worth of two and a half. And we should be able to go all the way to the header. So um, not too much material needed and it doesn't need to be bent or turned anyway. It's just gonna be a straight piece all the way up so yeah that shouldn't be too bad i laid the mid pipe right in here just gonna drive that over there because we're gonna again have to cut the um three bolt flange off the front so we can uh weld on these two two bolt flanges but yeah what i'm gonna do now is just put the car back down and uh take it out the shop and we're just gonna continue this video whenever i get up with Danny and um make sure that either he has the material or I can get the material and we can shoot over there, get this thing welded up and fully done. All right guys, so it has been a couple days. Right now, we're about to head out and um, take this thing over to Dunny and let him weld up my exhaust. I found a really cheap piece of um, two and a half inch by two foot exhaust piping. So uh, we're good to go on that end. It's only like 13 bucks at O'Reilly. So we can uh, patch it from the the um, header to the rest of the exhaust. I just put a full five gallon can of gas in here, 87. That was about 23 bucks. I put 75 bucks in the Ram. So yeah, guys, we already just spent a hundred dollars and we ain't even um, really got started with today yet. So, but yeah, uh, one issue that we had was for some reason, this window regulator let go on me. So now the window is just down. I'm gonna try to get it up. I may have to pull this door panel off, but I would like to utilize the AC cause it is pretty hot today. And so I really want to check this AC and see if uh, it's actually working as it should be. I also got another half a can of Freon up there in the house that I didn't put in uh, Glizzy the pilot. So uh, try to squeeze that in here. I think that's going to be perfect. And um, yeah, I just want to really see how the AC works and all. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can get this door panel off and get this window up. And then we'll start on this old journey here.
All right, guys, so we got the exhaust welded up and sounds pretty good, man. It's not that droney, pretty quiet. I'm not gonna lie, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bumper. I might even do it in this video, so I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm on the way back to the house now. I guess I'll catch up with y'all once we get there. So we are back home, boys, and I made a post on IG and uh, make sure you follow me, Driven Films uh, underscore deal on IG. Make sure you follow me because a lot of times I do this when I'm undecided, but uh, so far it is winning for a cut bumper and I'm not gonna wait any longer because I really want to do it. This shit bothers me. Like, I mean, yeah, I get it, it's eBay, but it's touching because the bumper should not go down that low on the CG. So we're gonna cut it. I uh, know the hate comments might start. I don't know, but fuck it. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit more artsy this time instead of just a uh, bland cut like I normally do across this line here all the way around. I'm gonna keep my mud flap and I'm gonna start kind of down here or maybe, yeah, I may start right around where the mud flap is and um, bring it up to about right here and just come all the way around and see how that looks. What The, the goal with this car is it's going to be a daily driver, so I want to keep the rear crash bar, unlike how the trap and stuff doesn't have any of that in there, like it's just completely gutted under the bottom. Um, and you can tell because you can see how driven films is kind of drooping inward a little bit right there It's because there's no support there. So like the bumper right here can be pushed in so um, I want to keep this as safe as possible. We will have a baby in it So I'm definitely gonna remain with the crash bar, but I'm gonna try to keep it from looking ugly I want to try to cut just above or just below where the crash bar starts so what i'm gonna start with is a moderate cut i know the bar comes to at least about right here so i'm gonna cut just below that and uh, we'll probably come back and shave maybe a quarter of an inch or so until we get right to where the crash bar is and uh, that's pretty much where the cut is gonna be so it probably won't be quite as high as the traps but it will be a definite noticeable uh, improvement This thing looks so much better, guys. So much better. Man, imagine when we drop it. God, no. And we put this shit on the ground some. She is gonna look mean. Dang. But yeah, guys, so far, project's coming along pretty damn good. If you're enjoying it, make sure you hit the like button for me. Uh, Again, like I said, next we're going to be doing the, the lowering it. And um, I got some headlights, some LED headlights from Novasite that we're going to be putting in, which if you don't know who Novasite is, they're the same ones that I'm running in my turbo car, the CB7. So yeah, they're super bright. Also have the same ones in my H2B over there as well. So yeah, good company. Those guys always hit me up, want to work with me. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to wrap this video up, boys.
remember to like, share, and subscribe. I will catch y'all next time. As always, respect all bills. Peace out.